welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my travel essentials. There are a few things that I wish I would have remembered to bring with me on this on my flight because my flight was really long. It was a total of about 20 hours, I want to say. That is a really long time to just be anywhere for an extended period of time. When you're in the air, there's like there's no stores, there's nothing. So you want to make sure that you take all of your essentials to be comfortable and just everything that you need to just make your flight more enjoyable and bearable. What I decided to do is um, not unpack it and just leave everything that I had in there already and then just replenish the things that I did use and ran out of so I could show you guys and then also add things that I wish I would have had on the flight and I didn't. But maybe it can help um, some of you guys pack a little smarter on your trip. Um, the first thing that you'll need, of course, and this is a must if you are traveling for longer than I would say four hours, definitely, definitely need a neck pillow. Unless you're sitting like in business or first class, your seats don't recline that far. And if it's a really long flight, if, especially if it's overnight, you're gonna wanna take a nap. I would definitely recommend the ones with the um, the foam in them that contours to your head. You can use them in so many different ways. You can use them like in front of your head, um, on the side. They're just so versatile. So definitely recommend um, a neck pillow. The next thing that is a must and I did pack with me is a blanket. Um, I know <laughs> this is a huge blanket, but I was willing to sacrifice room, my carry-on room for a nice thick blanket because I get really, really cold easily. And the last thing I want it to be is cold on such a long flight. So I went ahead and just got a nice thick blanket. And this one is from Home Goods, and it's just this is how big it is. And then I folded it up so it's pretty big. It covers me from like neck to my toes. So I was super cozy with my blanket and my neck pillow. Another thing that is an absolute must as well, especially if you're wearing sandals to the airport, do not forget socks because you will want to take your shoes off to get comfortable. If it's going to be a really, really long flight, like say six hours or more, then take some nice, comfortable thin house slippers or you know those little booties that have like the jelly at the bottom. You don't want to be putting your shoes on and off whenever you get up to go to the bathroom and that way you're already wearing like the little soft booties that keep your feet warm, but you can still get up and move around, but you don't want to be barefoot either because that's you just never know. So I definitely recommend either socks and or um, house slippers. That you I would definitely recommend some sort of entertainment. I also had my iPad, so I should have just downloaded the book into my iPad because the book is just extra space and you have very limited carry-on space. If you guys watch The Wizard of Oz, this is basically a story from the witch's point of view. And my husband and I actually went to Broadway and watched the play during our trip to New York. So I really wanted to read the book. I love the play. If you guys get a chance to watch the play, definitely go. It's so good. And I'm not going to keep talking about it because I don't want to give anything away. And like I said, I also brought my iPad in it. In my iPad, I actually have like movies. I don't think I have any games. I just have movies and music. I have movies and music in my iPad. If you guys are wondering, this is the iPad 2. It's like a really old generation. I'm not really into keeping up with like the latest technology, if you guys can tell, but this works just fine, so I'm okay with it. For those of you wondering, my case is from either eBay or Amazon. They both sell them, but you can just Google pink iPad case or pink quilted iPad case, and it should come up. It was only like, it was like $10, I think, for this, and it's really cool because it stands up. You can stand it on its own and then close it up and yeah, it's just a cute little iPad case. Of course, I have my phone in here. Just make sure you turn it on airplane mode when you get on. I still don't really know why you're supposed to put it on airplane mode and I'm kind of afraid to Google it and find out because then I'll just get like really nervous whenever I get on a flight if it ends up being like a really bad reason why they tell you to turn off. So I'd rather just not know. They say ignorance is bliss. So. And I have these uh, little bags that I like to just put everything that's um, all the smaller items in. And this is just the little bags that I get from my Olea box. I save the bags and just use them for travel. I have my headphones, which if you have soundproof headphones, I highly recommend that. Those instead, but I don't. This is all I have, so that's what I take with me. My iPhone charger slash iPad charger. And then I also have my laptop charger in here, even though... I don't have my laptop with me, but it's packed away, so I just want to have all my chargers in one place. 
and then a pen because you know you always have to fill out like custom forms or you never really know when you'll need it so it's just smart to always have a pen on you in the second baggie i carry an eye mask because if again if it's a long trip you're going to want to take a nap and if it's daytime there's some people that like to have their little windows open and may interfere with your sleeping so you can just put this on and you'll be fine then i also carry a little bottle of like um just mixed medicines i know it says b12 on there but i actually just emptied it so i can refill it with uh, medicines that i need but i have like tums in here i have advil I have melatonin, actually I think that's it. So happy I remembered to pack this because I did end up getting a pretty bad headache um, during the last leg of our flight. So from Tokyo to Bangkok, I had a huge headache. So I was so happy that I had this. I was already on the airplane and I don't think that the flight attendants are allowed to give me medicine. So that would have been really awful if I had to endure those six hours with a huge headache. Also in this bag, I keep tissues. Even though you can get tissues on the airplane, like in the bathroom, it's just always nice to have them handy in your travel bag in case you need them. I also have this Tide pen, which I did end up using because I spilled something on me. And it's just, you know, it's nice to have this in case of any accidents. If you hear Nala in the background, I'm sorry. She's being a little crazy puppy right now and playing with her toys. The next thing that I brought, and th I didn't actually bring this actual thing. I had the travel size, but I ran out of those, so I just put this in here so I could show you. It is the Neutrogena Makeup Cleansing Towelettes because I don't like to wear makeup on the airplane, but I do do my makeup before I go traveling just so... I don't know, I don't want to feel like a complete slob going through the airport security and all that. So I do my makeup. But once I'm on the airplane, I'll go ahead and get comfortable and then I'll remove all of my makeup and just um, start putting on my moisturizers, which I'm about to show you what moisturizers I take with me that are a must. But definitely makeup removing wipes, you will thank me later. Pack them. <laughs> of course, I have my passport. I would normally have my husband's passport with me as well and I just kind of am in charge of all the paperwork. But I do want to mention if any of you guys watching have never traveled before, a good travel tip is if you're traveling like let's say with your husband, definitely recommend having one designated paperwork person, meaning that person carries the passports, the boarding passes, just anything that you need because when you're in line to you know give your tickets or through customs or anything like that it's just a lot easier if one person has everything i remember our very first trip that we ever took together was um was back in 2010 or 2011 and it was when we were first dating we went to aruba it was a mess because we didn't have like a system down and he ended up losing his little carry-on bag because he thought I had it and I didn't, he had it and we ended up leaving it somewhere and that carry-on bag had our phones, our sunglasses, our passports, it had all of our important stuff. We're not allowed to leave bags laying around in the airport because it they'll call security. So they started announcing it like saying that somebody left a bag somewhere and he heard it luckily because I didn't hear it. And he ran over there to get the bag and thank God we got the bag and everything was safe. That was a result of poor planning. After that, we kind of got better at traveling and just making sure, okay, you're in charge of the bags, don't lose them. You're in charge of the paperwork, don't lose those. So that's a good little travel tip for you guys. Um, the next thing that I uh, have is the Intensive Treatment Skin, Skin Renew Dark Spot Treatment Mask by Garnier. And this is just like a hydrating mask. But like I said, I like to take all my makeup off and then I like to put on a sheet mask just to replenish my skin because being in the air for so long, even short flights, dehydrate your skin so much. And if you already have dry skin, it's even worse because you're just exposed to nothing but recycled air for all of those hours and your skin really takes the beating. So having some sort of like replenishing mask or hydrating mask is a really good idea especially if you have dry skin and you're gonna be on a flight for a really long time. And the last item that I have on my travel on case is this little cosmetic bag. By the way, this cute little bag is from Jessie Steele. I'm sure most of you guys know about the liquid roll and it's basically you can have a bag about this large and in it, it can only contain liquids of three ounces of, or less. I fill this entire bag up with my liquids and I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. The first thing in here is something that I was so happy that I packed. There's barely any left. It is the Evian Facial Spray. 
This stuff was a lifesaver. I seriously expected my skin to be like alligator skin when I got off the flight. After I removed my makeup, I moisturized, and then every like hour or two hour or two hours, I would mist this on my skin, and it just really kept my skin nice and hydrated. It's so refreshing, and it just makes sure that your skin gets um, moisture throughout the flight. So highly recommend a spray like this. Of course, an eye cream. I took a travel size. Um, this one is from Benefit. Next thing I took that was also a complete lifesaver is the L'Occitane. It's an almond oil and it smells it smells really nice. It does smell like almond. It does leave your skin nice and moisturized. So I'll put this all over my face and my hands and it's just really, really nice. So another thing that I took with me is a Travel Size La Mer face cream. Um, and the last thing is a hand cream and I lost the top to it. It is the Hands of Hope by Philosophy. Definitely need a hand cream because your hands also will get super dry. So don't forget about your lips, your skin, your hands, just anything that's exposed to the harsh air, you want to keep nice and moisturized. Um, so that's everything that was inside. Uh, then I have this little pocket out here that I also carried other items. I have Alka-Seltzer because you just never know again if you may need it for a tummy ache, a headache, just anything. If you get nauseous, Alka-Seltzer is great for that. I also packed some peppermint tea because peppermint tea is great for digestion. So this is um, a really great tea to drink right after eating anything on the airplane because you just never know with airplane food. So definitely just you just want to take the precautions. And I drink peppermint tea on a regular basis anyway. So I just had two packs of peppermint tea. Another thing that I carried with me that I didn't end up needing, but it's nice to have just in case. And these are deodorant swipe wipes. It's basically just a little deodorant wipey and they're nice and portable. You don't have to take the really bulky um, stick of deodorant. Um, these I did end up using, so these are actually ones that I replenished. Do you smell wait, wet wipe? <laughs> they smell so good and refreshing. They smell like lemons. If you put it on your hands, your hands will smell like lemons all day. And basically I just put it on my hands and like my neck when I start to feel kind of like unhuman, you know, from like just being sitting down in the same place for such a long time. I just like freshen up with my mist and take the little wipes and wipe my hands and my neck area and just, it's it's very soothing, you know, it makes your flight a lot more comfortable. So I definitely recommend some sort of wipe. I also have um, ponytails because you should always have ponytails if you have hair. Bobby pins are also very helpful, especially if you take um, all of your skincare stuff, you can just pop your hair back and start putting on your creams and all of that. So that is everything in my little bag. The last thing that I don't have in my bag because I um, I ate it all <laughs> is gum. You definitely want to take some sort of chewing gum because it helps with the pressure so you, your ears don't pop or is it so that they do pop. You guys know what I mean, right? It's also a great way to just freshen your breath when um, before you get off of the flight so you don't have smelly breath. Those are all my travel essentials slash carry-on essentials. I hope you guys find this video helpful or at the very least entertaining and definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked it because it really helps me out a lot. I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah.